So guys, I was loosening the shifter cable and I noticed this bracket. We got us a cable to hydro conversion. Maybe innovative, I don't know. And we also got some solid mounts. Little baby mounts, but they're solid mounts. All three. Oh boy. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're over here at the junkyard. This ZC came into the yard, dual cam ZC. It's inside of a two wheel drive wagon and it's actually pretty interesting. It had a cable to hydro conversion that I think I showed you guys. And it's also um, has a hydro tranny, obviously. This is probably just a EG EK tranny. It has a long axle on that side, so it's not ZC, but it does have some solid swap mounts. So that's pretty freaking cool. Um, anyways, I'm currently working on getting all the suspension pulled off. This is kind of a tricky one. It's always hard to bust off these axle hubs when you're in a junkyard because you know, we never really have an impact that's strong enough to get this bolt off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop the axle out of the transmission on this side. And then I'm probably just going to loosen this lower control arm bolt, loosen the sway bar off, and then just get rid of the traction bar, hammer it down. It'll all fall down with the axle and we'll be done with it. I'll probably unbolt the brake caliper so that way we don't have brake fluid all over the place. But I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse because we really only have like an hour to do this. Let's go. We got a dual cam ZC. Hey guys, so we made a lot of progress on the wagon. Um, we made a homie here too, Boost Junkie 1320 on Instagram. Um, I let him take the cable to hydro conversion. He said that we had dibs on it because he didn't even notice that there was a cable to hydro conversion. But then when he said that he actually needed it because he wanted to put a hydro tranny in his EF, I said, yeah, bro, definitely take that because we don't need it. We're not trying to run hydro trannies right now. Um, but we're pretty much ready to go. Guys, I've never actually seen like this cable to hydro conversion before. So we have the cable to hydro mount right here. And then over here, it looks like we have a custom T bracket. It doesn't look like an OEM Honda T bracket. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take all of this stuff off and we're gonna like really actually check it out. But we're probably gonna end up taking this entire cable to hydro conversion. We're gonna leave the trans, but we are definitely taking the engine. Hell yeah, buddy. Um, actually, I've made a, I made a very fatal mistake. Um, I haven't even cranked this motor over once since we've been doing this. So let's find out if she's even any good. Huh. Yeah, I feel compression. Yeah. Will it run? Who knows? But it does make compression. It does spin over freely. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. Let's keep proceeding. We're almost done. Okay, so while Issa's still unbuttoning this engine, I'm gonna go underneath and we're gonna finish loosening the T-bracket bolts. Um, it looks like Issa got all of the tranny to engine mounting bolts already busted off. This motor mount bolt is also busted off. So we're pretty much good to go. We're kind of gonna have to drop her because we don't actually have a jack. I guess we could go over in a cherry picker. Yeah. But um, we might go get a cherry picker just so we could pick it up and then go and put its fat ass in the cart. But I don't know, guys. Let's keep going. I'm going to take off that T-bracket. Okay, guys. So we have 19 millimeters on this T-bracket, just like on Compa ZK. So that's interesting on an EF. Um, yeah, let's go. Is that a broken piece of bracket? That's interesting. 
Hey you guys, okay, so I guess we're pretty much ready to figure out how to drop this motor out. I really don't know what our plan's gonna be. The way me and my big brother used to do it back in the day was collect a bunch of truck tires, cause truck tires are usually flat in the junkyard and pretty much just use that to create a pillow and then drop the freaking motor and drag it out. So <laughs> I think that's probably what we're gonna end up having to do unless um, we go get a cherry picker, but it's already getting pretty late. Kind of just want to get this done with. Um, but yeah, here's the wagon since I haven't given you guys a full walk around of it yet. It is a two wheel drive wagon. As you can see, no all wheel drive shenanigans down there. But um, we did leave some good things like the wagon was pretty picked through by the time we got here, but there are still headlights, there are still door panels. The door panels are in pretty damn good condition, honestly. Um, the RT steering, or not the RT, but the um, four spoke steering wheel is here. No Honda badge as usual. Um, mirrors are here, the forks, the EF forks are here. Oh wow, this thing was all sound dampened. What the hell? Look at all this insulation, that's crazy. Oh, now that I think about it, I need to get the vents. I don't know if the vents are the same from wagon to CRX because our dashboards are different, but I definitely need these vent tubes. I guess that's good. <laughs> Oh, it'll come out when we do it. Let's drop it, I guess. It's time. Our junkyard, junkyard is just about to close, I believe. Okay, guys. I'm going to put you all on the time lapse, like right there or something, and we're going to flop her out. Hey you guys, so it's gonna be a close one. Issa just ran off to go grab a wheelbarrow. I really hope he makes it back in time because junkyard is closing. But we have the dual overhead cams EC pulled out. It is right here, stripped of anything that they would charge us extra for. Hopefully all we get charged for is a long block. I know the clutch is still there, but like, come on, that thing is burnt. Um, we're also going to be taking the cable to hydro conversion mounts. I do have a cable to hydro conversion um, for the clutch cable at home, so we can run a hydro tranny in my CRX now. That is, that's a big one. Um, we didn't even have time to check out this little CRX right here. It's a first gen. It's got a pretty cool fiberglass hood it looks like it's fiberglass custom um this thing's pretty cool wow kind of sucks that this thing's in the yard oh i see why dang baby she made it to what 224,000 miles sorry you guys didn't really get that Ooh, i like that little wing damn poor baby so yeah, this CRX was in the yard. We didn't really get to check her out. We didn't even get to open the hood. Um, I hope Issa gets back. There he is. All right, you guys. So this is SoCal. We're about 40 minutes out from LA. We just got out of the Santa Fe Springs junkyard and long blocks, bare long blocks, no accessories, no clutch, no flywheel, no alternator, no intake manifold, no header, no distributor, no sensors of any kind. 500 bucks jesus christ oh and they had a sign over there saying this yard is not honoring the discount <laughs> oh my god so that was something else i would have never ever ever bought this if there wasn't what it was this is a dual overhead cam zc for anyone that's new to the channel this is pretty much my whole my favorite motor in the world by honda besides like a b17 this is the predecessor to the B16. This is pretty much a non VTEC B16. It's a dual overhead cam D series. And now I have two. <laughs> so 
we did end up getting the motor and we got the swap mounts um i left the air vent stuff the air tubes and stuff because they were going to charge like 15 bucks each for each tube and i'm pretty sure i could hit up some of the homies and find some but anyways guys we got the mounts we got the motor and <laughs> that was cool junkyard things So I have suspicions the Flacco was here and he robbed the distributor for Tony. Guys, I need that freaking Dizzy. <laughs> I'm gonna come pick it up. <laughs> the I take off. <laughs> Your hands, <laughs> you touch the motor. Wow. Okay guys. Mission accomplished. One day this will be in the front. <laughs> okay y'all that's gonna wrap it up for the vlog because i already have like four videos pre-recorded so we need to get through this footage um me and isa came out here to santa fe picked up a freaking dual overhead cams ec um i managed to not get my hands dirty because i actually wore gloves also i managed to ruin my chris sadowski shirt the day i got it in the mail <laughs> so thanks a lot chris sadowski for sending out the shirt i freaking love it it's super warm guys maybe <laughs> guys maybe support chris um pick up some of his merch if you don't watch Chris Sadowski he's one of lazy man's boys and he's super super cool super humble dude and um, I really like his merch it comes in cool colors because Chris is a hipster so maybe support him and get one I'm probably gonna get another one because I think I ruined this one already but until then guys we got another dual overhead cam ZC uh, guess in the comments what we're gonna do with it or maybe give us suggestions what you think we should do with it should we put it in the wagon should we put it in Casera should we boost it should we rebuild it who knows Find out next time. <laughs>
The big ass diesel turbo. You already know the deal, Pops. Oh, you got a 